All right. Morgan's All right. got the list. All right. Okay, here we go. Zodiac signs, and this was my comeback. Uh, for my previous list. I got all this information from InStyle.com, Larry, so don't attack me, you can attack them. Now, and where I'm, did you get the first list from, though? Uh, you well, did this also, once before. So the first one was just, a I was looking everywhere, mm -hmm. just trying to find stuff that matched you guys so that you'd be excited. It didn't work. So this is very concrete. So it may right. match you or it may not. You guys can decide if, if this lines so this up. this time you felt InStyle was more credible yes. when it came they're to... Very, yeah, they're, they're very leaders <laughs> in the astrological field. They are. You know this. There's Stop a couple of scientists Larry. there Larry. that work there, Larry. It's um, just for fun. Yeah, it's called okay. fun, Larry. Thank Look you. it up. All All right. Right. Now. I'm starting with you, All right, good. Lair Bear. Let's You're see how a fun Taurus. This is. Yeah. Some general traits about a Taurus. They're stubborn. Sensual. Oh, if there's one word to describe Larry, <laughs> it's <Yeah>. sensual. <laughs> Hard headed and down to earth. There you go. Yeah. Uh, tenacious, yeah. reliable, loyal. Mm -hmm. I think that's yeah. fair. Is that like every adjective in no, the thesaurus? No, no, you talk about Larry. No. And Larry, can I? Yeah. I but, looked ahead. It's going to get worse. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. okay, they tend to appreciate the arts, music, dance, and theater. Yeah. yeah. No? Okay. Uh, they're romantic. Think cozy blankets, oh, essential yeah. oils, oh, candles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Silk, <laughs> you, le you left out silk roads. And they love luxury. That's well, true. They love yes, your castle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but I think this one's right. The, the best trait of a Taurus is they're pragmatic. So they, they're very reasonable. They're loyal. I think you're, mm. yeah. you're very... Reasonable? You're cut and dry. Yeah. But there were like 50 descriptors No, but there. you'll it's... see. Pat's not pragmatic. You'll see. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. get there. Uh, their worst trait is their fixed perspective, <coughs> like right now, causing them to be closed-minded. And no, astrology no. is objectively wrong. Anyway, your mind is closing <laughs> yeah. in on me. Okay, they'll state their case and then they'll conveniently weasel their way out of seeing the other side of an argument. Wow, that's an attack right there, yeah, Larry. Yeah, what is the other side of the argument? <laughs> you did just cut me off mid sentence. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm not saying this is you, Larry. I'm just saying this is your sign. Uh, their romantic style is the uh, last yeah. bullet point here. here. Their ultimate date is spent inside around the dinner table, indulging in comfort foods, cozying up on the couch, and making out. Uh, yeah. you, you love necking. <laughs> You've yeah. said that for a long time. You Only if that. I bathe in essential oils yes. first. <laughs> Lisa, it's 8 o'clock. Get in here. <laughs> it's necking time. <laughs> Turn on Net Geo and get comfortable. What do I live in a drive in theater or something in 1957? That, you're off to a great start, Morgan. Can't do this anymore. Oh, this is great. I didn't this ask to do the list today, okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Too bad. I'm uh, crying. Making right. out. Have you even ever <laughs> said the term? I don't even think you've said making out. No. No. Well, that sounds but like a personal said, problem. He has said necking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Robin, we're going to move on oh, to you. I did the hardest one first. Uh, next up, oh, Robin, buddy. who is a Scorpio. Some general traits. A Scorpio is private and secretive about subjects that are near and dear yeah. to their heart. <laughs> she keeps it all to herself, that's well, for sure. Well, knows some, she's exes. right. Some things yeah. she does yeah. keep very See? close to the vest. That's yes. fair. They're driven. Everything else she talks about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're very driven, but they're locked into their belief systems, and they yeah. manage to command the spotlight in a powerful way. Yeah. Oh. It says they have an eye toward world domination. <laughs> Quiet, yeah. Kind of way. As long as it happens between six and ten a.m. If there's anything to dominate the world right. after that, it, oh, I'm out. Man. It's on the midday stuff. Then. Yeah. yeah. Um, they naturally get locked into a set pattern or perspective. Yeah. True. Okay. So here are their best traits. It's that they're spiritual, wise, and they inspire others to live their truth. Thank you for they're inspiring eager. me. So hard. They're yeah. eager to command the podium and run the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right. They appear fearless and a bit prickly at no. times, making them intimidating. Yeah. Okay, now here's their worst trait. And again, I'm not that saying this is you. <laughs> 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 they tend to zero in on their desires and become obsessive, leading to unhealthy obsessions and paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> they also t tend to see the dark side of life and they can be a little pessimistic. Oh, that's, true. <laughs> that's not true. Okay, and their romantic style. 
they're strategic in what they share romantically on social media. It literally said that, which is what you do. Yeah. So we're one for five. Yeah. Uh, a, a partner would love to binge a mystery series with them, maybe watch some Stephen yeah. King. Explore. You do love murder documentaries. <laughs> You're magic and spells and healing energies. Oh, it's got to get some magic and healing energies? I don't like magic. Yeah. No. But, huh. but, but Stephen King and mystery yeah, yeah. binges. Oh, okay. well, that's all right. Yeah. Okay, Morgan. All right, well. uh, Pat, you're an Aquarius. Some general traits yeah. about you or those of you Aquarius According out there. Yes. Yes. According to Insta, <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're motivated to create dynamic change. They're futuristic, inventive, and rebel against convention yeah. at every turn. Yeah. yeah. They can be quirky and eccentric. There you go. They prefer, prefer to live by their own self-written code instead of conforming to society's norms. And they tend to be into things like Indian fashion. Oh, yeah. I love you. Oh, I know, I love that's you. where I lose you. You know me, yeah. I got all the indie rock venues yeah. for those 11 p.m. shows. That's me, Larry. Yeah. Okay, so their best personality traits, they're free-spirited, friendly, personable, uh -huh. independent-minded, and they're humanitarian. Okay. Yeah. They're the scientists of the zodiacs, and they're go. eternally curious, seeing the big world questions. Now, your worst traits. Your quirky, rebellious, stubborn ways of viewing the world can frustrate anyone who likes convention, and you yeah. can also get irritated at a moment's notice. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Un unleashing a biting That's remark accurate. Yeah. or an argumentative tone. Okay, so we'll just leave that there. Uh, lastly, your romantic style, anything um, but the old school options. Like, you're not down for the dinners and the drinks. No, I like a dinner. That's really all I well, like Well, sorry, eating. the tourists, yeah. not you specifically. Yeah. Um, they also tend to shrug off, you know, conventional things like marriage. It did take a while. Yeah. Sometimes oh, people... Oh, jeez, but you're, you're a hardcore married guy. Yeah. You're very devoted. Yeah, yeah, so that doesn't fit. Because yeah. it says your partner, might it might be difficult for them to, to be able to tell that you're, you're into them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, that's, so what's your takeaway? Like, I feel like every one of them was vague enough that they would apply and could have applied to any of us. Exactly. So I feel like I could have been yours or yours yeah. as well. Right. But that one lined up a little bit more with me, but we each could have been... Yeah. See, that's yeah. how they get you, right, Larry? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the parlor trick. And again, Morgan. you did this a second time because you thought it would be so much better than <laughs> the first. Don't okay. Raise your hand if you've had fun so far, though, yeah, right? Everybody is laughing. Fun. This is yeah. fun. Yes. We're going to do two me, okay? One more. Oh, oh, Gemini. Yeah, right. general traits Let's of the Gemini. They're quick-witted, mm -hmm. outgoing, inquisitive, and charming. <laughs> Yours was the mm -hmm. nicest to me. They tend to be eager so to learn anything and everything, and they can be both easygoing and maybe a little fickle. Your best okay. personality trait, bringing excitement and energy to every conversation, <laughs> and you're the friend that people can rely on to spread the word about big hangouts mm -hmm. or spontaneously oh, yeah. join them on a whim. Are we tracking? Yeah. So far. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, this one's right good. On. Okay, worst personality trait, they can be two-faced, oh, superficial, and flaky. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's on. not fair. Yes. They struggle uh -huh. to make up their minds and they contradict themselves. I don't think that's you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, romantic style, they blow up the DMs. Oh, wow. Yeah, I also like Nick. I would say, I agree with all that, except I don't contradict myself. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I do. <laughs> sometimes I do, but I don't. We'll be right yeah. back. Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, the news director in Rockford's kicking himself for letting you go. <laughs> <laughs>